Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through a quick tutorial on how to make sure that you can view the Unicode symbols in Minecraft, uh, modifying your texture pack if you are not able to. So uh, I'm going to move my Minecraft window over onto the screen right now. And you can see that this particular pack that I have applied, if you look next to the C-Money IGN at the top, uh, doesn't have the correct symbol to the left of my name. That's supposed to be a trident shape. Uh, but it is not, so we will go through how to do that. Um, so what you want to do is navigate to your .minecraft folder. If you don't know how to do that, you can type percent app data percent and hit enter, and that'll bring you to your roaming folder in app data. You click .minecraft, and uh, there's two specific folders we're going to want to look at here first as your resource packs folder. We're not going to need this right now, but I am going to open this up into a new window. And we'll come back to that momentarily. And then the other one is going to be your versions folder. So I have a lot of versions, been playing Minecraft for a long time on this computer, but uh, we want 1.16.5 as that is the most recent version of Minecraft. Uh, in this case, I have already unzipped the jar file here. Uh, but what you're going to want to do if you only have the jar file and the JSON file here is you want to right click on this and use a, an extraction tool. I have 7-zip, some people have WinRAR, um, anything to extract uh, zip files or jar files. Um, and you want to click extract to 1.16.5. You'll let that run and it will open up this folder here. You go into the folder, you want to go into assets. Minecraft textures and you want to copy the font folder here. So if you copy the font folder and then you want to go over to your resource packs. So uh, the resource pack that I have applied right now is this 1.16.1 vanilla one. Um, the one that I've already fixed is the 1.16 default ors one. So we will view this one we go into assets, Minecraft, textures, delete your font folder here, and paste in the new font folder. And then something else you're going to want to do, just to make sure that you're on the correct version of the resource pack, is go back to your uh, original pack folder here, and there's this MC meta file. You can open this up in Notepad++, regular Notepad, etc. Uh, I'll just open it up with uh, regular Notepad for our purposes here. And we'll bring this fo uh, folder file over here. And you want to make sure that your pack format is set to a value of 6. You don't want anything earlier than that, otherwise the, uh, the values will not display correctly for the Unicode symbols. So once you've done that, you can bring your Minecraft window uh, back into display. And as long as you reload your texture pack, if your game is already open, or um, in my case, I will be adding the correct texture pack here, uh, you should be able to see the correct symbols for Unicode. So once this finishes loading, we can display on tab that now we see correctly at the top there that is the trident uh, that we're looking for and um, other various symbols that uh, work as well I'll just copy some of them onto the server right now we've got uh, there's the bow I've got a sword and uh, obviously the trident there as well so uh, that should conclude uh, basically all you need to do you just need to make sure that you transfer over that font folder uh, from the version folders versions folder on your dot minecraft folder and also make sure that your pack version on your mc meta file is six thanks for watching everyone i hope this helped